Okay, <clears throat> good morning class. Today we will discuss a numerical on refraction at spherical surface. Before we discuss the numerical on refraction of spherical surface, let us revise the refraction at spherical surface. Your surface. This surface separates two medium. Medium 1 of refractive index mu1 medium 2 of refractive index mu2 such that refractive index of mu1 is less than the refractive index of mu2 a object placed on the principal axis this object produces a light or we can say a light oc passes from your medium of refractive index mu1 to refractive index mu2 along ci after refraction it propagates along ci <clears throat> so it forms a final image at i if u is your object distance distance from the center of the lens to the object denoted by u and the distance from the center of the lens to the image is known as your image distance denoted by V then and finally the distance from the center of your lens to the center of curvature is known as your R radius of curvature so I can write mu2 by V minus mu1 by U equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r where mu2 means the refractive index in which my image is formed divided by my image distance mu1 refractive index where my object is divided by my object distance equals to mu2 minus mu1 divided by r light from the point source in air falls on a convex spherical glass surface mu equals to 1.5 radius of curvature equals to 20 centimeter the distance of the light source from the glass surface is hundred centimeter at what position the image is formed okay now let's understand the question what it says a light from the point source a light from the point source like your O in air so this medium is your air falls on a convex spherical glass surface this convex spherical glass surface has a refractive index 1.5 radius of curvature is how much 20 centimeter the distance is how much 20 centimeter the distance of the light source from the glass surface is 100 centimeter means the point source from the glass surface is at what distance 100 centimeter at what position the image is formed the question is asked at what distance my image will be formed clear now after you have read the question and understood the question we'll first underline the point where what do we have to find in this question what do we have to find we have to find the position of the image underline your position of the image okay next after you know what you have to find then what we will do look into the details given into the question okay now the light source from the point source light from the point source in air falls on a convex spherical glass surface light from the point source is in air what does this means it means that your first medium this medium is where 
it is in air if it is in air what will be the refractive index it will be 1 so I can write my mu 1 equals to 1 next underline your air after this it falls on a convex spherical glass surface of refractive index equals to 1.5 so what is the refractive index of the glass surface it is 1.5 underline 1.5 and they have also given the radius of curvature how much is it 20 centimeter underline 20 centimeter also so what is your the medium where the image is formed it will be the refractive index of your glass surface how much is the refractive index of the glass surface 1.5 okay and what is the radius of curvature the distance between the pole and the center of curvature it is how much 20 centimeter okay now and finally last point the distance of the light source from the glass surface is how much it is 100 centimeter so underline 100 centimeter so what you will do your object distance u is how much 100 centimeter okay now after you have gathered your details now use your sign convention okay sign convention won't be applied to your refractive index so let's start with our object distance for the object distance we are measuring from the pole this center is your pole from pole to the object and it is going from which direction to which direction from right to your left it is going in this direction if it is going from right to left then we will take this one as positive or negative negative next your radius of curvature it is measured from the pole to the center of curvature now in which direction it is measured it is measured from left to the right if it is goes from left to the right this one will be positive clear okay so what what details we have gathered my refractive index for the first medium is 1 refractive index for the second medium is 1.5 the object distance is minus 100 centimeter and the radius of curvature for the convex glass surface is 20 centimeter therefore we know the refraction at spherical surface is mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equals to mu2 minus mu1 by r mu2 is your refractive index of your second medium which is 1.5 so i'll write down 1.5 v is the image distance which we have to find so let it be v minus minus mu1 is the refractive index of the first medium which is 1 divided by your object distance object distance is minus 100 centimeter so 1 divided by minus 100 centimeter equals to mu2 minus mu1 mu2 is your refractive index of your second medium of your second medium which is 1.5 minus the refractive index of the first medium 1 divided by your radius of curvature from the pole to the center of curvature is 20 centimeter 1.5 by v minus 1 by minus 100 minus and minus will become positive equals to 1.5 minus 1 by 20 what is 1.5 minus 1 it is 0 0.5 by 20 so i have 1.5 by v plus 1 by 100 equals to 0 0.5 by 20 0 0.5 i can write it as 1 by 2 so if i write 1 year 2 year so it will be 1 divided by 2 into 20 which is 1 by 40 so 0 0.5 by 20 can be written as 1 by 40 now i can take this term to the other side of the equation so plus 1 by 100 becomes minus 1 by 100 so what do i have 1.5 by v equals to 1 by 40 minus 1 by 100 now take the LCM of this 40 and 100 
you write in terms of the common factor 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 2 2 4 4 5 20 20 500 40 you write down 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 2 2 4 4 2 8 8 5 40 now take the common multiples like in this case 2 into 2 2 square so I write 2 into 2 now in this case 5 is common write down 5 now write the remaining terms 5 5 2 2 that is 2 1 2 3 2 cube into 5 into 5 5 square so 2 cube is 8 8 into 5 square is 25 8 into 25 is your 200 so I can write 200 as your LCM if you have confusion you can use your calculator so 1.5 by V equals to 40 divided by 200 I'll get 5 100 divided by 200 I'll get 2 so 5 minus 2 equals to 3 by 200 clear so V equals to 1 so next what we will do we will take the reciprocal I'll write V in the numerator so V by 1.5 equals to 200 by 3 now I can take this 1.5 there so 200 divided by 3 now 1.5 means 3 by 2 so I can write 200 by 3 3 by 2 now 3 and 3 gets cancelled 2 divide by 100 so V is how much 100 V is 100 centimeter and what is the sign plus what does this mean this means my image will be from on the right hand side that is from right to left so what happens my object which is placed at a hundred centimeter strikes the surf refracting surface undergoes refraction and forms the final image at V and V is how much hundred centimeter clear therefore the image is formed at a distance of hundred centimeter from the glass surface in the direction of the incident light clear so that's it for today's class if you have any confusion you can ask me thank you